All right, so after knocking all the loose dirt off with the pressure washer there, I'm scrubbing it with an SOS pad. This is just the first one. Well, it already looks a ton better. And that was just with the first SOS pad, so we'll try this again. I think it's gonna be about two per rim. And uh, well, we'll see what results we get. And about two pads gets you here. So that's already a lot better than it was before. Let these dry so I could strip the uh, the clear coat off of them and actually start bringing some shine to them I'm using this to strip the clear coat. I got it at Home Depot. And I'm applying it with this like foam brush thing here. These three rims have had it for about 10 minutes now. This was the first one. And you can see the uh, the clear coat is starting to come up and peel. You gotta get all the clear coat off so you can get to the metal. And then you can start, you know, shining it up. After about 15 minutes of that paint stripper, just soaking in and eating up the, uh, the clear coat, it starts to come off. So I let these sit overnight. I think a lot of that's gonna come off easy. I'll take them outside and hit them with the pressure washer. That don't make a mess in here.
All right, so after stripping them, this is what I ended up with. They're already a lot shinier than, than they were with the clear coat on them. But they have like some stain or something. They do have some scratch marks because I was cleaning them with the steel wool. But that's fine because they're going to get sanded anyways. So this one hasn't been stripped yet. So this one still has a clear coat on. But it's been cleaned with SOS pads. And this is as clean as I can get them with just the SOS pads. This stripper, to get them to here, then I went to Harbor Freight, got a sander, and this rim has been sanded down with 320. So I'm going to keep going with 320, get a whole layer off, because they do have like some stains, get all the stains off with the 320. And then from there, start going up uh, in, in increments. sand it all down with the 320 and I'm gonna do it with the 600 grit and I'm gonna repeat the process then after the 600 then you move on to the 800 and then you could get it one and do it by hand the uh, some of the crevices now I'm not doing everything I'm not doing this section here and inside here I'm doing just the face and the outside part here but you could do it however you want I mean, you don't even have to sand. After you strip, you could probably get some of that uh, mother's Powerball and some compound or something and then just work with this. So it all depends on, you know, how far you want to go. Alright, so now I'm going to use just a little bit of dish soap, some warm water, and I'm going to wet sand with a thousand. And then after this, I'll do it with uh, 1500 and then after that we do finish it off with the machine. So this is after doing it with a thousand and some dish soap. Then I cleaned it with a microfiber and now I'm going to do 1500. Alright, so now I'm going to use this polishing wheel that I got from Harbor Freight and also the compound that I got at Harbor Freight, the white one. Try to polish this out here. So just hitting it with uh, this wheel and this compound. This is what the wheel looks like now. This is what we started with. So this is already looking pretty good. But I'm going to see if this Blue Magic Metal Polish helps it with 
maybe these power balls here or if it doesn't I don't know we'll see but I wouldn't mind running them like this as they are now Here's the finished product. What I did do at the end is I got a blue shop rag and put some acetone on it. And then just kind of went and cleaned where I didn't polish, which is in here and in here. The only stuff that I did work was like this lip, this part here, and the spokes. This is what I wanted it to look like. I mean, you can go as far as you want. But this is what I wanted. It's a lot better than... This is where we started. And this is cleaner than actually where I started. Because I cleaned this with... Those... SOS pads. Got all the brake dust. All that stuff I couldn't get off. That's the see back there. So you could even do them like this, but I wanted to take it all the way to here. And then the caps still need to be done, but that's going to be for another video because I'm all out of time for this weekend. I'm all out of time, maybe next week. So I hope this helps. Um, if you're trying to do this, I will warn you, it is a very, very long process, but it is rewarding. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.